I've fished all my life since I was young. This is how we made a living in the past, and uh, all of our people ha have lived off the sea. Throughout the Pacific Northwest, the flow of water in our streams have been relegated to culverts. A culvert is essentially a, a pipe that conveys water underneath the structure, in most cases under a road. They concentrate stream flow and the water accelerates through the culvert and that alone can make them difficult for fish to pass through. While culverts were initially intended to assist in the flow of water, they've caused an unintended disruption to the natural migration of salmon and the region's overall ecosystem. The capacity of the habitat is reduced and the upstream areas are losing the ocean carbon that's being imported by the salmon. So it affects all the critters upstream. This disruption has far-reaching consequences for the environment, the local economy, and the region's tribal community, who depend on salmon as a way of life. The salmon are such an important piece of our sacred duty. All creation is considered a brother and a sister to us. We don't just say the salmon or the bear or the eagle. They are actually villages of people. We say village of the salmon. We have to make sure that we protect them because they nourish us year after year after year. We are the salmon people. Our ancestors from time immemorial have lived off the sea. The salmon are so important to this community, but the fishing has went way down and it's due to a lot of different things. One is the culverts. Improving how our infrastructure is built will have a direct impact on the effectiveness of stream flow beneath our roads. The USDOT had a chance to visit Washington State recently, and they came with a welcome announcement. I am delighted to be here to formally announce that we are opening applications today for the first ever dedicated federal initiative to fix culverts for fishing and support tribal communities in this entire region. This is an example of how transportation infrastructure, the environment, and the economy all interact. There's so many places where you've got a road or a highway and they put a culvert under it to move water, but now we're seeing that obstructing the passage of fish. Uh, that can be a huge issue, especially here in the Pacific Northwest, where it's very important to people who are involved in fishing to tribal nations. And I, I would add that uh, when you don't have the right kind of culvert set up, it can even make it more likely for there to be flooding on the roadway. So really, it impacts everybody. Uh, we're here to celebrate the fact that we're going to be able to improve the situation, removing or replacing or repairing these culverts so that fish and people can get to where they need to go. The culverts are actually pretty easy to fix by replacing them, generally with either a bridge or a much larger culvert that doesn't have a bottom in it and does not constrict the flow and cause it to speed up. What we do with the, the barrier correction is that we size the culvert so that the stream is uh, able to act naturally under the road, the same way we have a road that goes over the top of the stream and people drive across that road, they don't need to know the stream's there. Uh, the new designs allow the creek to go under the road without knowing the road's there. We appreciate all of the efforts that everybody is putting in in trying to save our salmon. If everybody does their part, we can turn this around and hopefully save our salmon, but also save, you know, the whole environment.